What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And today um is going to be a very intriguing one because well, as you guys are well aware, we recently got the ban list and it was known as the emergency ban list because of the fiasco with the uh, with what happened at YCS Pasadena and Mystic Mine became one of the two cards that got hit on the ban list. And the question becomes, what deck that I had on my list on Nexus needed to be updated that had Mystic Mine? And the answer is simple, Numerons. So I have an updated Numeron deck profile for you guys, post-December 2022 emergency ban list. And I'm going to be honest, um... Once you guys get a look, once you guys see the deck on Instagram, because I always post the post the post the deck lists on my Instagram, which you guys can definitely check out. Link will be in the, in the description. You guys will understand what I'm talking about because this deck is rather interesting. It's rather interesting, but it makes sense. Um. But the fact that, with the fact that Mystic Mine is banned, I don't think there's any other card in the game that can that can basically replace it. Um, not sure if there is though. Um, like if you're talking about, like if you're talking like. Old school cards that that basically was missing mine. You you've got cards like um, you you've got cards such as like I think I think Gravity Bind. Uh, there's also um, there's also uh, Level Limit Area A and Level Limit Area B, which which Area A um, ha, um, keeps all. Monsters that are level three or lower to uh, in in an attack position, and then B and and then with area B is uh, four level four or higher in defense. So it's sort of like so just that combo right there is basically your missing mine. I guess I guess you could say I guess you can say unless if you added cards like you know cards such as like cards like cards like Jinzo and Spell Canceller, then yeah, that's basically your your missing mine. But um. Other than that, there's really no other card that in, that can that can do it. But honestly, this deck is a, is it's not as like 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 how can I say it? Excuse me, not not as good at, as the last build with with the with with the missing mine. But this deck is act, is actually pretty good. I did a lot of testing. With this deck, I was testing this deck for like, I I think it was like well over like, like over like two hours, like two three hours, or so somewhere around there. I don't know how long I was dealing with this deck, and the the deck is actually pretty nice. So hopefully you guys are ready for. <coughs> damn. Hopefully, damn it. Yeah, guys, I'm still sick. Um. Not as bad as I was last week, but uh, I'm getting there. I'm sh I should be okay by by. I should be better by potentially tomorrow, but who knows? Um. Anyway. Um. Anyway, hopefully you you guys are ready for this for this deck profile. If you guys are and you guys want to see more deck profiles in the future, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on my social media, including my Instagram. Because I always post the deck lists on my Instagram. Link will be in links will be in the description below. As will the info in, info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. Let's get straight into it. Kicking these off, obviously you got you got the three copies of Numeron Wall. This is basically the the one card that can 
that can basically help get Numeron Network. Um, and, f sh and shockingly enough, I did take out take out the three uh, the three uh, Planet Pathfinder, and the reason being is because of the fact that because of of the fact that with Mystic Mine out of uh, out of the out like with with the card banned. There's there's no other card there's there's no other like field spell or any other card in the game that can uh, that can act as a mystic mine and numeral wall is numeral wall is basically is basically is basically a planet pathfinder where where if you have no cards on board you can send this card from your hand to your graveyard or your field depending on where where it's at and and you, you you can actually activate Numeron Network from your deck, which is in, which is insane. So it's sort of like a sort it's sort of like a Planet Pathfinder. So you really don't need need the Pathfinders, especially with the next cards that are going to be that I have in this deck. And you guys are going to think, why? Why are these cards in the deck? What are those cards? Well, well, it is the Side Frame package. So we got so so we got the Side Frame Driver. And of course, we got the side frame gears. So the side frame gears. So we got the one gamma, the one delta, and the one epsilon. Gamma, gamma basically, <coughs> basically acts as a imperm for. Basically acts as a imperm. So it negates it. It negates monster effects and destroys them. Um. And basically, driver plus any any of the three gears, you instantly get Cypher Little Omega, which is awesome. So, so with so with so with the Cypher gears, Gamma Gamma negates monsters, Delta negates um, negates spells, Epsilon negates traps. So if you have all three all three together, you have a pretty powerful combo. Right there. Obviously, you can't you can't activate them in in, in the same turn um, because of the fact that you want to try you want to try and and activate these cards during your turn because if you activate them during your opponent's turn, they're going they're they're going to get banished. So you want to try and use them on during during your opponent's turn so you can so you can go into the same the side friendly little omega potentially I. In potentially either main one or in your main phase one or your main phase two depending on on the board state so that's pretty crazy next up next up we got two copies of lava golem this is basically a kaiju and speaking of kaijus we got two copies of of Gadarla the mystery dust kaiju to out to outshine the um basically to um Basically, to to outshine the um, the what you call it the flu wonderies deck decks, and I think funny enough, um, I think honestly, I think the deck the the flu deck doesn't doesn't it also run gam gam seal? Does, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm I'm trying to think, guys, because I know that the deck runs the wind barrier statue, but I don't know if it runs the water barrier statue. Because if you guys if you guys think about it, because if you guys think about it, the Florent Rees deck consists of all water and wind attributes. So I don't know if 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 the deck runs um. runs uh runs the water barrier statue but even if it did i would probably have to take out um take out the the effect veilers and potentially put in put in the the gam seal so i wouldn't know um just because of the fact that both gam seal and gadarla would be ways to out the um out the barrier statues and you could just combo off from there which is pretty pretty nice but sadly i don't have have the gam seals in in the deck 
just because I didn't have have any room room for it. So, but it is, but it is, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bitch and moan moan about it. So, I was only being curious about it. That's all. But, but um, but by the way, shout out to Starbucks for 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 the cold brew. Not sponsored. Their cold brew, their cold brew is just fucking awesome. Um, now we move on into some into the rest into the rest of the monsters. We got two Ash, two Ogre, two Bell, two Effect Valor. Only because um, only because of of the fact that I, I needed to make room, obviously for for the for the the for the side frame package for for the Gadarlas. <coughs> I I just need need to make room, so that's why I'm I'm only running two each. Um, but still, but but still, even even at two copies of each, um, the the deck is still is still consistent, so it's pretty pretty cool. Moving on into the spells, there are only nine nine in the deck, so for so for the one ofs, so for the one ofs, we we got the one the one call by and the one harpy's harpy's feather duster. I don't know why. I still don't know why call by is, is at one. I just don't fucking know. Feather duster. I can. I can understand why, but call by, it makes no sense. If it was at two, I could. I could understand it, but at one, come on, come, come on, Konami. You guys could do better than that. Bring it back up, back to back up to two with the next ban list. <coughs> next up. <coughs> <clears throat> ah, my God! Sorry, guys. I apologize. I know. I know. I know. I shouldn't be coughing on on camera, but I think I think it's just the just the negative effects of getting the flu shot because I just I got my flu shot a couple months ago. So I think that might be that might be the case. But moving on. Next up, we have, we have two copies of Numeron Calling. As long as you have Numeron Network on board, you can actually use Numeron Network's effect to activate calling to, to activate calling from the deck. So, so basically, calling lets you summon summon all all four Numeron gates. So, so, so you can summon Akum, V, Trini, and and also and also Cat. Um, uh, Kavari, um, in once in, in in one single turn, which gives you access to activate Memories of Hope, which is the next card that I'm going to talk about right now. This is essentially a way to 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 re, to refresh your hand with a brand new set of cards. So what the card does is. <coughs> It says draw cards equal to the number of number XCs monsters with different names you control. You can only activate one memories of hope per turn. So because of, of the fact that I'm running running a total of one, two, three, four, five, six numbers, not counting not counting uh not counting the, the chaos gate chaos gate uh Sumia, that that would basically be a total of like six cards. You could potentially draw, but it just depends on your board state, um, which is actually really cool. And then, of course, to obviously the two copies, the two aforementioned copies of Nuvo, of Numeron Network, because it's Numeron Network. There we go. Now we now moving on into the traps. We got a fuck ton of them. We have 12 traps in, in, in the deck, but they make sense with this deck. So first up, we have two copies of, of Waking the Dragon. Obviously, obviously Waking the Dragon has has been under has been underappreciated over over the last few years. because uh, I know when, when when the card was released, I think in Flames of Destruction, if I remember correctly, um the de the, the card was used mainly to summon uh, to summon Ray Raptor Ultimate Falcon, and why that was the case I couldn't tell you. But Waking the Dragon is, is just an um, it's just an insane card. So it basically just just lets you summon any and any monster um, 
from either your from either your main or your extra deck, which is really nice. And I actually have two. And because that I've got two waking, two waking the dragons, I actually have two uh, two targets for them, which you'll you guys will have to wait until we get into the extra deck to find out what those two targets are. But next up we we have two copies of Solemn Warning, two Solemn Strike, three Infinite and Permanent, and three Zing Zang Hu. So the 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 warnings and 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 the strikes obviously you don't want you don't want want your opponent to go full combo so these two cards are just to ensure that 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 your opponent does not go full combo by by over some by over committing to their summons I guess you, you could say imperm just stops pretty much any monster which is just insane and 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 the funniest part. And the funniest part is that if you have no cards on board, you can actually activate this card from your hand. So it's sort of like a hand tribe, I guess you could say. And then Zing Zing Hu is, is only in here to to stop your opponent from activating any back row, e even if they had just just random floodgates that shouldn't be in, in the deck. You ju you just act you just flip up flip up uh, uh Zing Zing Hu, and you're good to go. And Yes, it, I know what you guys are thinking. You, you, you guys are thinking. Wait a minute. Why? Why? Why this card? It's an old school floodgate. Yeah, it may be. In, in, it may be an old school floodgate. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Sure. I'll admit. Yes. It. It, it may be an, an old school floodgate. But just because it's an old school floodgate doesn't mean that it can't be used again. It's just that simple. My God, my God, my throat. There we go. I know, I I know the coffee wouldn't work, so I might as well have drink the water. Now, now we, but that's pretty much it for the main deck. We now gonna we now move on into the extra deck. So we got obviously. Obviously, the side frame Lord Omega because of the side frame package. We got the one Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder because of the fact that one of the cards that I have in in the extra deck, which is obviously one of the waking the dragon targets, can ensure that. My God, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sick. There's a bunch of like something caught in my throat. There we go. Can actually absorb your opponent's monsters, or actually rather can, um, or actually rather can absorb, um, can absorb your your opponent's uh, uh, spells, or pre 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 or pretty much any card that that was activated. Um, um you can actually. Use this card to to absorb it and, and attach it as as its own material, and you can instantly go to Zeus. In fact, you know what? Fuck that card. The card really d does nothing. I'm actually gonna do something different. So the card that I that I had in question was um was uh was number 38 but I chose but you know what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it out and instead of doing it do, doing it I'm gonna do cyber dragon infinity just because Cy cyber infinity is, is a bit better than than number 38 um, so so yeah but still but still cyber infinity is now a part of of the deck just because infinity um, can 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 pretty much absorb any monster. Um, which is pretty which is awesome. Um, but the monster has to be in in an attack position, which is kind of upsetting, but it's still pretty good. Next up we've got obviously the Numeron Gate package. So we got so we got the Numeron Chaos Gate, uh, Sunya, we got Numeron Gate Kavari, Akum, David, Trini. 
Kevari, Eggum V, and Trini. Two copies of all four Numeron Gates. One copy of the new of the Chaos Gate, which is which is basically the the standard. We got the Cyber Dragon Infinity because it's one it's one of the Waking the Dragon targets, and also two, and also two the more materials it it has, the more board wipes you will have for Zeus, which is amazing. And then of course the other Waking the Dragon target, which is number eighty nine Diablosis the Mind Hacker. This is a way to force. This is a way to force deck out your your opponent by. By banishing monster, by banishing cards from 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 the top of their deck during at at the end of each battle phase. So the more so the more cards they have banished, the more cards the more cards you banish from the top of your opponent's deck, which forces a deck out, or 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 you can force deck out force deck out by by doing that and just by and just by by passing your turn. Over and over and over again until they have no more cards to draw, which is kind of a kind of a uh, which is which yes it is kind of a kind of a kind of a dick move, but not much. There's not much not much you can do about it. And then the only two links that I've got in that I have in in the extra deck are the Magnite Crusadia a Avermax and the Nightmare Phoenix. Phoenix is is obviously there as a Basically, basically another like back row, piece of back row, back row removal, which is awesome, and also too, and 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 also too, if let's say, let's say, for for example, um, let's say let's say for for example you've got you've got the numeral wall, and let's say you have um, I'll say effect veiler on. On board. Let's say that if if your opponent if your opponent were to activate imperm on your on your neuron wall and you have effect veiler in your hand. Excuse me. I I I, I know it's not on board, but I meant in your hand. And neuron wall was negated with imperm. You can you can normal summon the 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 effect veiler. Link, link them off into the Nightmare Phoenix, activate Phoenix's effect, pitch. I'll say, I'll say the Side Frame Driver, because because with because with the Side Frame gears, you can summon Driver from your graveyard as well, which is really nice. Pop one of your opponent's back row, and you can just instantly go ahead and just attack with the Phoenix, which is really nice. Now moving on into the side deck, it's a bit of a odd. These are some odd choices, but they work. So first up, we've got the two artifact Lancia and the two artifact Scythe. Lancia can basically just ensure that 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 no card no card gets banished during the turn the during the turn the effect of Lan the the effect of Lancia gets activated when it was summoned, which is really nice. Um, Scythe can basically can basically Buster Lock your opponent's um, your opponent's um, um, was your their extra deck <clears throat> dur uh, during again during the turn it was activated when it was summoned, which is really nice. We have three copies of of D Crow as basically your second, third, and fourth call by, which is really nice. We got the three Dark Ruler no more to ensure that to ensure that that you're able to attack over your your opponent's monsters without without any hassle whatsoever. We got the three cosmic cyclone because who doesn't love back row back row removal and then two exceeds import to further ensure that to to either a further ensure that you gain more more materials for cyber infinity or or you can also use the the, the exceeds imports on 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 num on number eighty nine so you can actually. Banish cards from from your opponent's extra deck, and then banish cards from the top of their deck as well. So by so by doing that, so by doing that, you're able to double the amount of cards that, that you banish from the top of your opponent's deck every turn, which is absolutely insane. But guys, that is the that that's that's the deck. Let me know in in the comments below your thoughts on the deck. I'm very curious um, on 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 the deck. Um, 
So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more tech, tech profiles in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And don't forget to check out check check out the deck list on my Instagram. Link will be in, in the description also. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.